Ukrainian military targets. If true, we have just gotten from the State Department a game changer. The Pentagon, I have just heard that second, the Pentagon has just confirmed to Fox News that this isn't happening from the eastern side of Ukraine, that disputed area where separatists who are Russian supporters have been doing bad acts. That's not the case. The State Department and the Pentagon have just confirmed this is coming from Russia, from Vladimir Putin's Russia. Now what? Now what Europe and your energy ties? Now what United Kingdom and your money ties? Now what world as a jet has been shot from the sky and 298 completely innocent people are dead? What now for Vladimir Putin? It's breaking news and it's next on Fox News Channel. That the State Department has evidence that shows Russia has been firing artillery shells from inside Russia toward the west into eastern Ukraine and attacking Ukraine's military targets. Pentagon officials have just confirmed to Fox News this has been happening for several days now. Steve Harrigan live in the rebel stronghold of Donetsk, where this probably comes as no great surprise, but I wonder if it doesn't turn up the volume on this thing now. Putin directly involved. Shepard, it certainly would turn up the volume. I think we're going to have to be very careful with exactly what this statement means. Uh, as we know now, for some time now, for some months, Russian-backed rebels have been fighting against the Ukrainian government, trying to create their own state here in the east. They have been getting material and support, even sophisticated weapons, from Russia. Now there could be two options based on this statement. Is it these rebels, many of whom are ethnic Russians, who are firing on Ukrainian forces from the Russian side of the border, or is this an authorized Russian military unit? If it is the latter, that would be a significant escalation. That would mean basically Russia is using its military against Ukraine's military. Two powers next to each other, two nations fighting. It would take this out of the realm of rebellion into the realm of international war. It, it really would, and we've, we've, I've, I'm reading through again the statements of our reporters at the State Department and what we just got seconds ago from the Pentagon. And just to go back and confirm, Steve, they are specific in that the firing is coming in the way of artillery from the Russian side of the border, but you're, you're correct to say they are not specific about who's firing it. If they know, they are not yet being specific. Of course, we've seen in a number of conflicts, think back to Vietnam, where you have forces fighting against a nation who might cross borders, perhaps for some refuge and to fire from there. That could be the case. So I think we have to be careful to say who exactly is doing the firing. Is it still Russian-backed rebels who are doing the fighting, or has it gone beyond that? Keep in mind the situation on the ground here. All this fighting is taking place very close to the border between Ukraine and Russia. Russia has been known to be supplying tanks, armored vehicles, even sophisticated weapons to the, to the rebels who are fighting against the government. And the facts on the ground, really, over the past few weeks, these rebels are losing ground. Yes, they've knocked down some jets, but they are losing town after town to the Ukrainian government. Is Russia now upping the ante, trying to keep this rebellion alive? Are they doing it by aid, or are they doing it with their own forces? This question, we're going to have to determine which is the truth here, Shepard.